Oh, hi, everybody. Glad that you guys made it. I'm in front of my computer and I've got a piece of software running here. Let me just see if I can show you. I don't know whether you can see, but it says there Data Recovery Utility, which means that I have a problem with my backup hard drive, but that's not all. Last night I was editing day six and at about nine o'clock for some reason the file that the cuts are on got corrupted and I've wasted my entire night editing day six. So my machine's been occupied by trying to recover data from the from the backup drive which was semi self-inflicted because I pulled it out before it said safely remove the drive so it's my own fault but anyway this machine has been occupied the entire day trying to recover software it's actually working it's only if one file failed but what I've learned in data recovery that if the hard drive is spitting out files take them and don't stop it because if you try and restart it will probably not work but anyway I just want to quickly open my browser here because I got some suggestions from my viewers and we wait patient right so let's just get into the 731 subscribers thank you very much um, let me just check your YouTube studio okay this is now the back end of whatever you guys can't see on my channel but I go in here and then I go to the comments one I haven't responded to is Karma Coconuts. He has an idea to use the flint to start a bra. He suggested I made another bra video. So let's just see the published ones. He asked for another bra. I said to him, look, he needs to give me some ideas so that I can make it new and fresh. Uh, Sean Simon said that... He will upload some stuff to his channel as soon as he's got that sorted out. Thank you very much. Potshot. Keep up with the daily vids, please. Some very nice little tips makes the world of difference. Thank you very much. It, this, I, I really do appreciate uh, comments like that. I will try my best to continue. T uh, and if goes on f to say, test that little cooker. Now that's that in, in the... Day 4 video where I sat in the back of my car and had a nice monologue. He, I had the little cooker. He suggests that I must put the kettle on and see how long it takes. I think that's what we're going to go and do. But yes, here's a whole lot of uh, um, Sean Simon laughing about my broom trick that I did on the car wash. And that is that. Now if you guys want to know anything else, you should ask in the comments. I do read them as you can see and I answer them myself. I'm going to leave the machine now to do whatever it's busy doing. Hopefully I've got to still edit day 5, day 6 and now day 7. Um, I, I like to be one day ahead so that the movie or the video releases tomorrow morning automatically. I schedule them. At the moment as I'm sitting here there isn't a movie for tomorrow morning. There isn't a video for tomorrow morning so hold thumbs. Well you're gonna only see this in three days but <laughs> it's very confusing. But let's go outside. Right good day everybody. Now this is my my makeshift campsite the dog might be running through here every now and then <laughs> she's not used to it oh Bella <laughs> no play oh she's gonna bump the table and everything else okay anyway <laughs> this is very difficult she was dead quiet not a bother until now but anyway let's see if we can make this work right i think it was what is it pot shot that suggested i use the oh yes i hope i got your name right there use the stove to see whether i can actually 
boil the water. Now, I'm going to just put this on the corner of the table. Now, this is that little, what they say, your stove. It's written in French, sorry. Here comes a little bit of wind. Just to add a little bit of to the excitement. So, so this is a French stove. Let's just see. Kettle, yes, it's going to work. Right, I've got a steel table here. This is not a plastic table. It's a steel table. So these things are very well sealed, so let's open them carefully. And then, right, I've got exactly 500 milliliters of water in my measuring cup. Okay. Take one of these fuel tablets, put that in there. I'm going to put this back into this box for the moment. And then, just to make it a bit more interesting, this is very precious stuff at these times. Oh, yeah, we're on day seven. Can you see seven? Seven. Bella. Oh man. Okay, I've got one tablet in there and I'm going to try and light it with a flint. Right, so there's a little piece of line attached to that. And I'll pull this out, put that there. And it seems like it wants to start to rain as well, which won't be good for the camera. Let's see. And they say, what did they say? Works at any, uh, in any weather or altitude. Remove. Striker. You just scratch. So, oh, come on. <laughs> like my audio. This audio device saved the day. The boat, when I was doing the boat, that microphone was completely useless. Okay, let's see if I can get a spark. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, if you look at the packet there, that's more or less how much, how much fire I should get out of this thing. This doesn't work. Let's try once more. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Don't buy it. I'll be back shortly. I'm going to fetch my light. Right, now I always keep... Let's see if this one's working. This is a, a standard big lighter. I always keep one in the car. Good. First time, every time. Thank you very much. Okay, this is no longer necessary. Um, Right now, <clears throat> I, I'm very worried now because this stove is made by the exact same company. So I've got 500 milliliters of water, which I pour into the kettle. So that's roughly two cups of water. Right, and it stands nicely. I'm going to close it up. Right, I'm going to light it. I want to waste no time with the thing burning, so I want to get the kettle on as quickly as possible, so they can't say 
I've taken I've taken too long. Oh, I took too long. So I'm going to take one, and I'm going to try and boil two cups of water. I'm going to try and light it. Okay, there it's going. I guess I'll have to. I want to see if the wind disturbs it a lot. Yes, it does. So I'm going to put the jug and the toilet pipe and everything. Sorry about the wind, just comes from exactly the same side that the camera is standing right. The flame is burning straight up. It's gotten quite a bit smaller already, but it's burning fairly straight up. If, if a single one doesn't work, I will attempt to put uh, um, two in but yeah then it's not the, the, the normal tap water and it's about 23 degrees here I must say it, it, it does better than I expected I questioned the ability of heating up that water so in my opinion I would say you use Water in the region of 20 degrees, between 16 and 20 degrees, I would suggest you use two tablets. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. That thing pretty much looked now like the flame is going to go out. So one tablet did not. Every time I speak, there's a car coming past. Okay, there it's out. So one tablet did not boil the water. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to empty the water out. Definitely a cup of soup for sure. You're going to have a, a soup from that for sure. Oh, that thing's now nice and hot. I'm just going to it out. What's that? Looks like it's a little piece that's unburned. Throw that out there. And this thing, this thing's not too hot. Not as hot as the water was. Right, so now I'm going to fetch another 500 milliliters of water. Right, there's another uh, what is it? 500 milliliters if I keep it level. 500 milliliters of water. And I'm going to pour that into the kettle. That's half a liter of that. And I'll put two tablets in there, like that. And kettle is ready. Right, and it's going. This thing's probably moved out of. You must tell me, do you consider that a boil? See this?
this was a boil definitely you're gonna you're gonna be able to make a cup of coffee out of this stick around I'm gonna fetch coffee hope I didn't waste too much time but I did go and fetch and some milk <laughs> I must say this is this is very cool hundred percent and as a matter of fact I must add some milk because it's too hot so that stove with uh, Half a litre of water in, 1,450, no, 1,470 metres above sea level. Boils it in, I'll have to put a clock on the screen if I can get that right to measure. Well, yeah, initially it failed, but after a few more tries, this happened right now what I've done is I've taken this this flint and I used the back end of this and then I get some sp spark out of it so let's just get a piece of toilet paper here Okay, there we go. So persistence pays off. I knew it will work because I have done this before. But to try and light dry grass, forget about it, it doesn't work. This is the only way that you're gonna. Um, and then, of course, now from here. You can assume it's very easy to light your fuel or whatever, your fire, um, you know, this, this, so toilet paper is the best thing to use to try and light it with. You're not going to light wood with it, you're not going to light grass with it, you're going to only light toilet paper with it. There we go, so I guess if you're desperate enough you'll pull this thing. But yeah, so a lot of scraping, you've got to really scrape this thing. <laughs> 